it's me and Krista. And we're gonna do, <laughs> we're gonna do a 30 minute vinyasa flow. We will begin in an, let's begin in Tadasana. Stand at the top of your mat, close down the eyes. Inhale, arm circles sweep the hands tall, taking the gaze to the buttocks at the top. Interlace fingers, then punch the palms skyward. Use an inhale to draw the shoulders up to the ears and exhale to soften. Find length in the body and straight through the crown. With your next exhale, start to bow towards the right side. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, bow to the left side. Two more on each side with your own breath. Once you complete, you return to center. Inhale, release the arms. Exhale, rise your breath to a forward fold. And a heavy bend in the knees. With your next inhale, root to rise. And inhale, arm circle, sweep the hands tall. Exhale, bring right arm towards the back of the room. Left arm reaches forward. Eye gaze past the right shoulder. Inhale, bring the arms back through center. Exhale, finding the second side. Inhale to center. Exhale, rise your breath forward, fold. Then release hands and gently root to rise to your Tadasana if it serves you. This time you can bring your arms to the top, hugging gentle back bend. Exhale, hands through heart center to Tadasana. Then take right arm, reach it across chest, hooking with your left. Use an exhale to soften the right arm. Then maybe taking the gaze over the right shoulder. Exhale, release. <clears throat> Inhale, arm circle, sweep the hands tall. Exhale, find chair pose, taking weight in your heels. You can also start to open through the spine, taking your hands to prayer, maybe unfurling the tailbone, finding a cat, or a cow, rather. <laughs> Inhale, rise to stand. Exhale, release the arms down to your side. <laughs> Take your left arm, reach it across the chest, hooking with your right. Softening into the left arm, take your eye gaze over the left shoulder.
exhale, release to your Tadasana. Inhale, arm circle, sweep, hands tall. Exhale to chair. Then inhale, rise to stand. Exhale, ride your breath forward, fold. Just two breaths this time. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale, step it gently back to downward facing dog. Pedaling out the feet at the bottom. Then inhale, roll forward, high plank. Exhale, lower the knees at the same time to table, releasing the toes. And then gently gliding the hips back to hero's pose. Maybe gathering the hands in the lap or hands resting on thighs. This is, this is serious, bro. <laughs> Inhale, rise to kneeling. Preparing for a gentle warm up into camel, not yet going into full camel. Reach the right arm skyward, then cradle the back of the head and neck. Take the left hand and place it behind sit bones. Use an inhale to open through the heart. Exhale, just gently tip back, not very far. Then inhale, return to center. Exhale, release the arms. Then switching sides. Left arm reaches skyward, cradling the head and the neck. Right arm behind sit bones. Inhale, lift through the crown. Exhale, gently lay back. Inhale to center. Then exhale, make your way through hero's pose to an easy seated position. Then find the wisdom mudra if it serves you, which is the index and thumb. Begin to notice your breath. your awareness to your points of contact with the earth, noticing your sense of foundation and stability. Bringing your awareness to your tummy area, let this area be soft. Checking in with your posture that you've found equilibrium. You're not leaning too far forward or too far back or to either side, just bouncing right comfortably in the middle. And taking your awareness to your heart space, let it be soft and open, maybe shoulder rinsing or taking your hands to this area. And bringing your awareness to your throat chakra, maybe rolling out the neck if it serves you. And taking a moment to pause and reflect on what it is to you to speak your truth. And finally, bringing your awareness to your crown chakra, connecting you to something greater. Whatever it is you believe in, just pausing for a moment to connect. And maybe taking hands to your heart space, setting your intention for today or for today's practice. And 
the intention is set. Continue to follow the breath, connecting it with the movement, finding seated cat cow with an inhale, uncurl the tailbone, heart opens, exhale, tuck chin around through the back of the heart. Two more breaths. And then return to your easy seated position. Inhale, arm circle, sweep the hands tall. Exhale, hinge at the waist, finding a forward fold, bowing over the legs, releasing the neck. You can also find a half lotus with the leg or full lotus. Maybe checking in with your emotional body and honoring whatever it is you're feeling right now. And inhale, start to walk the hands in, bringing the crown tall at the top. And then gently extend the legs out in front, first offering movement or massage, whatever helps your body get comfortable. Then inhale, draw the spine tall, bend into the knees. Exhale, hinge at the waist, finding your edge, and using one more heavy exhale to release the body. softness maybe checking in with any areas you may be holding a resistance is your tummy tight is your face tight are your shoulders or neck tight just breathing in bringing softness and gentleness And inhale, start to walk the hands in, bringing the crown tall. Exhale, release. And start to draw the right knee into the chest. Lengthen through the spine and then cross right foot over left, hooking with left elbow, staying here. Or you can add a spinal twist, taking the left hand behind sit bone. One more inhale and exhale, find a counter twist, bowing to the opposite side for one full breath. And then release the knee out in an angle. I know, I, I tell you, I have to keep finding it. <laughs> Take the right hand behind sit bones, preparing for stargazer. Engage the glutes and the core, rolling up gently onto the knees. Pausing for your exhale, one more inhale, then exhale, lower the knees, the hips, bringing the feet together at the bottom. 
Finding butterfly in any variation that serves you. Maybe bouncing the legs or inviting pressure or bowing over the legs. Maybe taking all three. Remember to relax and release. If you're saying ow, ow, then you're going too far. You should just be a little bit uncomfortable, a mild stretch. <laughs> <laughs> Inhale, walk the hands in. Exhale, <laughs> release the legs. And start to draw the left knee in, hugging it close. With your next exhale, crossing over the right foot, hooking with the right elbow, staying here, or adding your spinal twist. One more inhale, then exhale, bowing to the opposite side. Then releasing left knee at an angle, preparing for stargazer on the second side. Left hand behind sit bones. Use an inhale to roll up on the knees, spiral the hips open, pause for your exhale. Inhale to lift a little taller, exhale. Let the hips gently return to the floor, releasing the legs, and then in your own time, making your way to table. Once you get there, I invite you to continue moving, close down the eyes, using this pose to let go of judgments of how your body or practice should be right away. And when you feel complete and arrived, continue moving, connecting your breath and movement with cat-cow. One more breath. Let your exhale glide you all the way back to Chiro, Hero's Pose. Chiro's Pose. <laughs> Preparing for baby camel. Taking the hands behind sit bones. Inhale, lift the hips. Keeping the gaze where it's at or maybe exhale, release the head. Staying for an inhale, maybe lifting the hips just a little higher. Exhale, release the hips down. Coming back to table. Inhale, tuck toes. Exhale, glide it back down with facing dog. Inhale, right leg, three-legged dog. Exhale, low lunge, step foot between hands. Then inhale, spiral open, warrior two. Inhale, peaceful warrior. Exhale, windmill hands down, low lunge, then step back foot to meet front, forward fold. One breath. Then inhale, root to rise. Inhale, arms to go sweep the hands tall. Exhale to chair. Maybe playing with your variation this time. Then inhale, rise to stand. Exhale, rise the breath forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. 
Exhale, step it back, downward facing dog. Then finding your flow. Inhale, left leg, three-legged dog. Exhale, low lunge, second side. Then inhale, warrior two. Inhale, peaceful warrior. Exhale, low lunge. Then step back, foot to meet front, forward fold, one breath. Inhale, root to rise. Exhale, Tadasana. Inhale, arm circle, sweep the hands tall. Exhale, right breath, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step it back, downward facing dog. And finding your flow. chakra, finding a head scan. <laughs> Two more breaths. Then inhale, halfway lift. <laughs> Exhale, walk the hands, framing front foot. Then step back foot to meet front, forward fold, one breath. Then inhale, root to rise. Exhale, Tadasana. Preparing for tree pose, root through the left foot, lighten the right, then coming to any variation that serves you. Draw the arms tall. Exhale, soften. 
Inhale, open through the heart with your next exhale, maybe half angel wing. Then framing front foot. Root through the right hand, lighten the left. Inhale, spiral towards the left side. Exhale, release. Inhale, tuck back toes. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, spiral open, warrior two. Exhale, soften. Inhale to star. Exhale, find horse pose. Then taking your hands to the legs, the outer edges of your legs for shoulder dips. Use an inhale to lengthen through the crown. Exhale, dip the right shoulder, eye gaze over the left. Inhale to center. Exhale, second side. Again on both sides to your breath. Then inhale, finding star. Exhale, wide legged forward fold. <laughs> inhale, the halfway lift. <laughs> Exhale, walk the hands, ramming front foot, low lunge. Then step back foot to meet front, forward fold. You can stay in forward fold or find in Malasana squat. Take the feet out to the wide edges of your mat. Sitting back, finding movement. And then settling in with elbows pushing into knees, knees back into elbows. Exhale, release the hands and heel toe, the feet together to touch. Inhale, root to rise. Exhale, Tadasana. Tree pose, second side, root through the right foot, lighten the left. Invitation to find a mudra or a different variation this time. Picture a deserted white sand beach. Palm trees align the small ocean coastline. There is nobody around. It is the perfect spot to be in, in this moment right now. 
Visualize yourself walking slowly on the beautiful white thin beach. You are barefoot and you can feel the sand on the bottoms of your feet. The sand is warm and with each step, your feet become more and more relaxed. See the ocean. It is a beautiful turquoise color. The waves are moving slowly as they gently crash upon the shore. You are happy. You are content. You are relaxed. See yourself now lying on the beach. You feel the warm sand now touching your back bottom. There is nobody around but you. You close your eyes and feel the warm sun kissing your skin and the light breeze dancing on your body. You can smell the salt water of the ocean as you hear the gentle waves crashing. You are relaxed. You are whole. You are complete. There is nothing more that you need in this moment right here. Begin to lengthen your inhales and deepen your exhales. Then gently invite movement into your fingers and your toes, working your way throughout the body, then finding your way to morning stretch. Arms reaching opposite of your legs, big breath in. Then gently Make your way on your right side for fetal position. Using your inhale to remind you to invite new or rebirth anything that's good for you or your practice. Allow your exhale to remind you to let go of what's no longer life-giving, what no longer serves you. And when you're ready, making your way up to an easy seated position. Inhale, arm circle, sweep the hands tall, connecting palms, first meeting up forehead. May your thoughts be filled with love. And to your lips, may your words be filled with love. And to your heart, may you act from a place of love. Namaste. <laughs> you have one place. Thank you for practicing with me. <laughs>